Oops. Give me a break. All right. So, calculator things. Can you guys see this okay? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. So for kind of the bottom portion. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll get it up. Sorry. Okay. So when you're doing scientific notation, let's say you wanted to put, um, let's say you wanted to put like 500 into Sino, right? Oh, you guys can see that part. There we go. So let's say you want to put that into scientific notation in your calculator. You definitely don't have to, but it's good to know how to do it. Um, so it would be 5.0, uh, you don't need the zero. And then you would do the secondary function and then the EE. -E. That little E that it puts up there is the same thing as times 10 to the, sorry, I'm trying to make sure it's not. So then I would put two afterwards. And then if you push equals, right? My calculator reads out automatically in scientific notation. Sorry, I'm trying to find an angle that's <laughs> that you guys can I'm see. I'm sorry, one second. What button did you press again to put the E? The um... So five, second, E E. So most calculators have an E E, and most of them have it as a secondary function. If it's a secondary function, then that means you need to push this button, and then push this button. Then you get the E. Okay, yeah. So mine's I guess is secondary, but mine's have X. Um. Okay, so that's X one on yours too, right? Because mm -hmm. mine says X negative one. Yeah, I'm talking about where where right above it, how it says okay. E E. Right? I don't have EE on mine. Mine's I don't have EE on mine either. Do you have, I time... have the TI thirty X? Oh, uh, okay. So you you X. have times ten to the X, something like that. Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah, fine. I have that too. Same thing too. I have X to the negative one, and when I press that, that's when I get E. You have this gives yeah. you. Yeah. When I press that, it gives me E. Could you just write out like 10 to the, and then put the number? Uh, that's a great question. So can you just do this? Oops. We have the, if you have the TI-30XS, you do 10, you do the um, X10N. That one just does the 10 to the whatever power, if you don't have EE. So here's the problem with just putting in this way, okay? This way will totally work if you have a positive exponent. But if you have a negative exponent, it might give you space magic. The different calculators, oops. Different calculators will do things differently and they have varying degrees of stupidity. So, I believe if you put it in like this, yeah, you get a syntax error, right? If you put it in with the negative sign, so this is the negative sign, this is the minus sign. I know that sounds really stupid, but some calculators have a minus sign and the um, negative sign is the same thing, right? Depends on the calculator. You guys see why I try and get you to all have the same calculator? Because it's a huge pain in the <laughs> Every calculator is just a little bit different. I have a question real quick, because uh, I was having an issue with this when mm -hmm. I was doing the math. Mm -hmm. So when you put um, like the 10 times 10 to the whatever power, mm -hmm. when you're doing the exponent, mm -hmm. how do you go back down to put like a whole number to continue like times because mine stays up where the exponent is mm -hmm. like how to go back down like, oh go back down push the, the arrow mine doesn't work oh, oh okay and then it'll go down okay i got it yeah all right thank you
Isn't this exciting, trying to, like, have basically a phone conversation about how to, how to use the calculator? It's insane. Uh, professor, I yeah. had a quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, on your, like, the mode? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention. So right now, I have my calculator reading out in scientific notation. The way that you make that happen or make it unhappen is uh, this button. You see where it says psi eng? Right, that secondary function on there. So second. Professor, I have a different calculator. Um, for mine, it's the the mode button yes. that gets you the scientific notation. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. So for some, it's the mode, right? So I have it on psi, which will read out in scientific notation. If you have it on flow, which is where it'll probably start for you guys, then it'll read out regularly. So we always want to keep scientific notation. So starting on flow, then go side when solving? You can, totally, yeah. So you can start on flow and go to psi if you want. So. Um, is it always better to start on flow? It don't or matter. It just depends on the uh, problem. Yeah, it's totally up to you. Yeah. Oops. Silly me. So. This one's gonna tell me what that number is in Sino, right? That's pretty useful for a quiz or an exam. Or That's the one that says sine. The wahoo, The psi, yeah, the psi. The psi. Thanks for letting us know not, that. Not not <laughs> sine, not s i n, not sin, not this one. No, this one. Psi, psi. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sine is is trigonometry. We're not doing that. Did you figure it out, Aaliyah? No, I I can't get the, like, where it says the bottom, like the five, five times 10. Let me see what it, what you're reading out. So I just want to make sure mine, so mine goes like that and it shows, oh shoot. Anybody else have her calculator? I have yours. I I have that one. Which one do you have, the TI-30XS? XS, yes. yeah. Yeah, you use the, um, what are you trying to do, the exponent? Yeah, what the professor... Okay. No, try, trying to trying to put it into scientific notation when it reads out. Yeah, so for, so right now it's on Psi and then the DEG, so it's the same one, it's just I can't get the, the X, like the five times... What does it read out as, can I see? I'm sorry, um, I know you tried to show me, but I couldn't see it. Oh, no, you're good. So, this is what I have so far for the, like, the format. Okay, but then put e- equals, or show me, show me what it's reading out as. Okay. Like, give me a number. Five. Oh, yeah. Do, like, 5,000, 500, whatever. And then it's just 500, and then put equal sign, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I've been doing it wrong. I got it. Well, is that... You have a three, right? Uh, can you scoot it over, Smooge? Oh. I'm trying to see what it's reading out. Yeah, so is that what it's reading out there? Five yeah. star ten to the two? Yeah, that's totally fine. Oh, okay. So yeah. It's, yeah. It's not a, I thought it was so, like three on board. I was really, like, how do you get sorry. a three? So the... Um, no, no, no. No. I, I just wrote out a different number. Sorry. Because oh, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to make things extra confusing for you guys. But yeah, so is everybody comfortable with the fact that the X... Oh, sorry. The X and the star mean the same thing? Yes. The X, the star, sometimes we'll see it as a dot. Sometimes we use parentheses. The railroad tracks, we just use lines. So there's a lot of ways that we can represent um, multiplication in this class. So that makes it especially confusing. Um, I tend to find that students like whatever method they're comfortable with for multiplication. So if you hate the railroad tracks, feel free to set it up a little bit differently. As long as you show me that all of the units are canceling in that stepwise fashion, that's all I care about. Uh, How about if we changing uh, something from uh, scientific notation to standard? How about it? Like, how do we do it? From the calculator? Sure. Or you can do it by hand. Hopefully you guys have learned that at some point in the algebra. Right? Right. 
Or you mean... I can't find scientific notation on mine. Like if I type in 500, I can't get it to say five times 10 to the fifth. So like a graph here's what I want you guys to do. If you have a calculator that is not my calculator, I need you to go to the YouTubes, put in the name of your calculator, and scientific uh, notation. And it will tell you everything that you need to know about scientific notation with your calculator. Like I said. What website was that again? I'm sorry. The YouTube. <laughs> the YouTube, yes. The tubes of you. YouTube University. Yep. <laughs>